everyone hear me okay? Oh, I think I'm gonna move this chair a little bit if that's all right. Okay, so this is actually me. <laughs> At nine or 10 years old, somewhere around there, I was a shy homeschooled kid, so I didn't get to learn the F word on the, <laughs> on the school bus that one day in kindergarten. I was actually incredibly socially awkward and the only friends I really had were the ones in video games. So you fast forward about 10 years and things don't really look that different. There was only one tiny little difference. <laughs> I was still shy, I was still socially awkward. I had graduated from high school or homeschool as they call it a few years before, but I was just taking random community college courses on whatever I felt like and was just you know, working as a server in a restaurant in order to pay the bills. But this was my character. <laughs> Uh, in case you can't tell, this is actually from Dragon Age. It's a fantastic game. I recommend it for anybody. This was a level 20 arcane mage who could incinerate a darkspawn orc from about 100 feet away. And she was so cool, she didn't even need to wear a helmet, which is great because the hair was fabulous. <laughs> but that didn't mean that I was simply reserved toward that one game. It wasn't like I devoted myself to that one character. No, this was across a wide range of games. I was Ezio in Assassin's Creed 2. I was the faceless hero in Fallout 3. I was even a Sith Lord in Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. I really hope you don't think I'm evil. It's just the powers for a Sith Lord are a lot cooler than the ones Yoda has. I apologize to all Star Wars fans. <laughs> so when it came time for me to actually start growing up and becoming an adult, I was naturally terrified. I didn't know what I wanted to do with myself. I liked writing, I liked telling stories, and I did work as a columnist for the local newspaper. So journalism did seem to be a good fit, but I didn't quite know how to get there. I didn't know how to get from this person right here to this lovely one right there. <laughs> So in the end, I actually decided to do what I always liked to do, which was play video games. But instead, the video guy game I played was with my life. By deciding to turn my own life into a video game, I looked at myself in a way I really never had before. The first thing I did was I took all my own strengths and weaknesses and turned them into what I'd call character stats. So I could focus on the things I needed to work on, and then the other ones that were high enough level, I could leave them alone. As you could tell, self-confidence was actually a little bit on the lower end, and if I hadn't spent time to work on it, I probably wouldn't be able to speak in front of you right now. Uh, and then after I started working on my character stats, as you will, I started looking at my different quests or goals in my life, as they may be, because the benefit of playing a video game is that you have clear objectives, you have focus. When you go into one direction or the other, you have a reward for it, you have an achievement. And so when I was looking at my own life like a video game, I had that sense of purpose because you can't go from level one to level 20 right away, you go one at a time. So I decided to go one at a time. So slaying a darkspawn orc or killing a group of sand people instead turned into um, applying for college, which I eventually did and got into San Diego State, which is a fantastic school. <laughs> Thank you, I heard that. <laughs> Um, and then, um, you know, finding that rare piece of armor, as it may be, um, to, you know, complete that set instead turned into getting an internship in order to fulfill my own dreams of becoming a multimedia reporter, which I also eventually did, and I'm there right now. So by creating these realistic goals for myself in my life, I instead started leveling up, but in my own life, and it became growing up. So this is my latest character. I do still game, yes, and I'm very proud to do so, but this is a little bit different. This game is actually one I got to review for a national blog called iPad Insight that I do regular game reviews for. Um, it's a great opportunity for me to combine my love of gaming with my love of journalism and telling stories. But what I realize now is that if it weren't for gaming in the first place, I wouldn't be here doing what I love. I wouldn't be able to share that story with other people. In, you know, when it comes to self-improvement or discovering yourself as it may be, it's often best to work with what you know. And what I knew was gaming. So by embracing my own love of gaming, I was able to embrace myself and love and understand my own strengths and weaknesses in a way I never had before. And I still have quite a ways to go in my own game that is my life. But by embracing gaming, 
and embracing my own destiny as it will, I finally get an opportunity just to see how high I can level up. Thank you very much.